good morning everybody we're out here out of bayport florida again we got the girls with us today mackenzie's down here playing with the bungee cord but we're all here it's uh it's setting up to be a pretty nice day we're gonna have north northeast winds around five to ten mile an hour so it'll be reasonably slick probably run out and do a little bit of grunt hunt and uh some snapper fishing and then we'll do some red fishing when the tide flips and starts getting high all right so we're at our second trap now let's see if we've got anything oh wow so we got a ton of pinfish in there wow somebody baited it huh. Why is our well maybe it's time to move them <laughs> yeah i'd say so but at least they left hey yeah at least they left the bait okay. yeah well i mean they baited it for us and it clearly worked so whatever dump them in the live well and let's roll on all right, oh, yeah. all right well whoever pulled our pinfish i don't appreciate that but thanks for at least baiting it <laughs> but they didn't bait the other one right well that was probably somebody different <laughs> yeah. all right you're good go ahead all right trap one away all right you think you can keep us on track for this you see that blue box right there? Yep. You keep us on that track. What's up, kid? You want to help throw it? All right, when we get there, but don't hop up there just yet. All right, guys, we're at our second pinfish trap, and we're going to throw it back in the water with this uh, free bait that somebody donated to us. It clearly works very well. Go ahead and toss it. Good job. Ooh, look at the little crab. Give me a big thumbs up. <laughs> all right guys we're gonna turn some music up and hit the road we're gonna go out at least uh probably 10 miles and we'll talk to you here soon brooklyn you want to do a good deed what you want to do a good deed a good deed yeah what's that you want to pick up some trash from the ocean yeah i want to pick right, up grab that net will you yeah all right all right go ahead and scoop that trash up and brooklyn's good deed There's for the day look at all these Oh no, that's somebody's trap. Oh, well it's good we didn't take that. Alright, that's somebody's marker. There's a whole row of them right here. So we just got our first lines out and have already got two keepers on the boat. Let's see if we can get some more. Kenzie, you want to start fishing? All right, I'm going to get your rod ready. Everybody else, let's get to it. Bet you'll have a fish in no time. There you go. Got him. Whoa, sit up. That's going to be a good one. Whoa, look at the size. Nice grunt there. Woo! Yeah. There you go. That's cool. It is. Here, send it back down. Sorry. Oh. oh sorry. sorry. <laughs> wow. Take that. Some big grunts going in the box. All right, everybody, we're out here out of Bayport, Florida. We're taking the girls on a grunt hunt today. Girls, are you ready to catch some fish? Yeah. All right, let's see it. Drop him down. So we've got the girls doing a little competition out here today. Whoever catches the first keeper is going to get a candy. All right, be ready. One hand on the reel. Point your rod down just a bit. Okay. Yep, yeah, just right there. There you go, Brooklyn's got one. Oh, it's a good one too. Oh, Brooklyn got the keeper. Yeah. Give me a high five, Brooklyn. That's a good one here. Sorry, I'll help you out. Give me a high five. Thumbs up. Fish five. Fish five. There you go. 
Good, let's close them. Reel a little bit of the slack. Reel a little bit, Kenzie. She might already be getting That's a bite, it looked like. Fine. Leave it there. I'm getting one. Reel, reel, reel. reel. <laughs> I'm getting one too. Good. Good. Oh, Mackenzie's got one at the boat. He's a little short, but it's still a fish. Oh, they got your bait, Brooklyn. All right, one, two, three, drop them down. All right, close them. Oh, Mackenzie's got one. Nope. Oh, yep, she's got one. Oh, that's a, that's sea, a bass. sea bass, Mackenzie. He's short, but. But he's really small. Yeah, they are. Don't touch it. It's like a little right sea bush. Yeah, it's a <laughs> Isn't that cute? Yeah. <laughs> you got another one? We found him. Yeah. Alright, what's that old saying? Chum and they will come. Yep, if you chum, they will come. She's got a good one. Nice. I got the first paper again. Nice. Oh, that is a good one. Good job. I'm going to take this one. All right. Thank you. You can just hand them to me. Oh, okay. Or drop them down there. Got them. Squirrelfish. All right, hold him up. Greg got another good one. That's a solid one. Nice. Wow, that's a really good one. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. I earned a Skittle now. Ooh. <laughs> awesome. Woohoo! This is the spot. What is this? They're like crustaceans. Yep. Shrimp, fiddler crabs. What do I? Nice. Woo! You have to measure them. Yeah. That's a big one. Sheep's head have to be 12 inches or over. Honestly, when we're gigging them, even the 12 inch ones are, you know, you definitely want them to be at least 12. Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't want them to be any smaller. Yeah. Oh. oh, man. Good job. You got it. 13 and 12. Nope, it's 12. It's 12 on the dot. On the dot dot? On the dot dot with a pinched tail. Send him back? Good. Okay. All right, buddy. You get to live another day. See ya next time when you're an inch bigger. Bye-bye. Woo! Oh, nice. What's that going to be? Oh, yeah. That's like a grunt sandwich. Good. Oh, what's that? Oh, nice. Awesome. Hang on, let me get up there. All right. All right, show him off. Nice. And again, we're only in like 10, 11 foot water. Yeah. See you later. <laughs> What'd you catch him on, shrimp? Nice. The wind has finally calmed down so we can talk a little bit more without you hearing a lot of wind noise. We're uh, probably eight miles now out of uh, Bayport, Florida. We're about to fire up some hot dogs on the grill. We got a good batch of grunts in the cooler back there. I'd say at least probably a dozen grunts by now. Uh, there's no limit on them. We like the fish to be at least 10, 12 inches uh, to keep them. But like I said, there's no limit and there's no size minimum. So you can pretty much keep whatever you want. The smaller ones we end up using as bait. That's actually what I'm using right here. So you just, you know, chunk them up whatever size you want, depending on what you're trying to catch. Find you a rock. If you're in deeper water than I am, you can just drop it straight down. Really you can in this, but I, I like to go kind of rock to rock and try to find uh, where the bite is. Sometimes I'll notice like one spot might just completely shut down and the other spot might be where all the good fish are. If you're not catching anything, just, uh, you know, search around for them. There's a big rock field right here where we are, so there's lots of nice, I don't know if you can see this without having Costa glasses or polarized glasses on, 
but there's a big line of rocks right there and then on the other side of the boat there's rocks over there there's basically rocks all around us we're just on like a nice field of rocks here so hamburgers I like those one cheeseburgers we made that had the barbecue and the bacon on them. That was so good. And the caramelized onions. Oh, yeah. Oh, There's those were tasty. Yep, yeah, four hot dogs, four people. Hey, we should do some of the, uh, that Italian baked good fish deal with these grunts. I mean, we can do grunt nuggets. I know everybody always wants grunt nuggets, yeah, but I want to do some of that too. Maybe we can see if we have any more ripe tomatoes and I'll put some tomatoes on Oh, them. that deal you did. I forgot about that. Let's actually do that. All right. You could almost like mix that with that Italian deal. Like add some yeah, like make that it. Italian deal and then just add that to that at the end. Ooh, or like the Parmesan crusted grouper. When you make that, you could like make a big plate of that stuff to put on it. That is delicious. I'll put that on anything. There you go. That's how you do it right there. Nice one. Bring him over here. That was a good job, Brooklyn. You see how that worked out? He kind of pecked at it a few times, and then eventually he he decided he wanted it, and you had him right there. Excellent job. Good spot, though. This is my favorite spot. The bottom here is just like way there's lots of peaches, lots of bushes. There's like an entire field of just <laughs> mass um, amounts of rock. Pine Island. I is one of the best. Alright everybody, we're heading in. The wind's picking up. It's forecast to be pretty bad by uh, mid to late afternoon. So we're just going to go ahead in. It's 2.12 now. Here in Florida, it's uh, pretty likely you're going to run into thunderstorms anytime after about 1.30 in the afternoon in the summer. And it's June right now. So I got an alarm. It goes off at 1.30 or so. It tells me that the storms are coming. And that means it's time to head back. So we got a big box of grunts. It's deep. They're all the way down there. I don't know how many we got, but we got a lot. Uh, we got a lot yesterday too. Just want to show you what we're finding this stuff on. It doesn't even have to be anything crazy. This is a pretty small one, but you know, you look on your side scan. This side's a little messed up. On this side, you can see here, there's going to be, you know, ripples and dark spots and you'll be able to tell there's rocks and stuff there. This is smooth right now, so that's not what you're looking for. You just kind of scan along until you find a spot that shows you got some rocks and down here on the down scan, you want to see some little towering rocks and stuff like that. As soon as you find the rocks, it's just a matter of time. It seems that the tide needs to be moving for a lot of things to bite. If this tide slacks out, just wait a minute and it'll pick up. And sometimes we just, we get to a rock pile and there's just nothing going on there. So we move to another one. It might only be 50 foot away. But just like that, we got some fish. I think everybody had fun though. You girls have fun? Mm -hmm. All right. What about you, Katie? Definitely. All right. Well guys, We'll see you back at the house or at the flats or who knows, we might even stop and try for some redfish for a minute. But we're going to turn oh, yeah. the music up and cruise the rest of the way in. We got, I don't know, maybe 10 miles to go. We're going to take it nice and slow. Some happy little tomatoes. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how to fillet a grunt. They're very simple, just picture it like you would a snapper. First, you just take the fin, pull it back, and take your knife, angle it downward, and go towards the head. 
Then you want to take your knife, and just run it down the back of the fish, just like the first quarter inch of the knife. You don't need to go too deep. Just run it all the way down the back. Once you get to the tail, just take it all the way through, just wiggle it out. Then take your knife and run it all the way down the back of the fish. Go over the spine, all the way down to the bottom. They have a big rib cage, like a grouper and a snapper would. So you wanna like find that sweet spot and just go over the ribs, break through the rib cage. You don't wanna go through the really hard part of the rib cage because if you do that, you'll get into the guts and that's gross. You don't want that on your meat. So once you do that, you just go all the way down. You get a nice, beautiful filet. To take the skin off, just angle your knife downward, starting at the tail. Make yourself a little handle right there. Just wiggle it all the way down. Angling your knife down towards the skin. And make sure you always take out those pin bones. Up towards the tail, run your knife along the side of the bloodline. About midway through the fish, you can feel where the pin bones are. And just get those out of there. And there you have it. Nice, beautiful grunt filet. You can chunk these up now or leave them home. I like to make grunt, nuts, grunt nuggets with them. They're super tasty. Or you can make a sandwich or some type of fish bake. Doesn't really matter. Now, when you flip your fish over, you're gonna have an uneven surface. So it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. But it's the same process. Behind the uh, fin, down the back. through the tail, and all the way down. And then just let your knife run down the back of the fish until you get to that rib cage. Cut through those rib bones. You'll find that sweet spot in there. There's one part that's really tough, and if you bust through that, you'll get to the guts. So you don't wanna go there. So find that sweet spot where you can just get right in there and then it'll come right off like that. Make yourself a little handle. Angle your knife downward. And just shimmy it off. All right, we're gonna show you guys how to cook up some grunt. And today I've got two special guests coming to help me. I've got Brooklyn and Mackenzie. <laughs> All right, girls, show them how to make our buttery lemon fish bake. So you need garlic, sugar, and lemon juice. Yep, and what do you have, Mackenzie? So we have melt butter and thyme. And parsley. And parsley. And what's this? And pepper. And we have breadcrumbs. Yep, and we're gonna yep. top it with breadcrumbs. So go ahead, girls, dump in your ingredients. Okay. Now my sugar time. I won't get up. It's okay, I got it. And I got some more sugar. All right, butter. I got some butter. Yeah, good job. And we will have liquid. Burning. Yeah, it's a little bit hot. She's getting a big It's okay. Um, Isn't that fun? Mm -hmm. Yes. Now I need to put some breadcrumbs. Oh, wait, Mackenzie, you forgot the pepper. Oh. The breadcrumbs go on after we dump the um, the mixture onto the fish. Oh. Then you guys will get to dump the breadcrumbs. Okay. Smells so good. Yeah, it smells really good. All right, so go good. ahead. Thank you, Brooklyn, for stirring. Mackenzie, can you spoon this onto the fish? Yeah. All right, take a big scoop and just put it all on the fish. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so Brooklyn's gonna go test. first. Okay, can you just shake them on top of the fish, okay? Uh, make sure you get some on each each fish fillet. Oops. It's okay. Just get it all on all of them. You want to do about a third of a cup of breadcrumbs. And we're going to um, mix up the recipe a little bit and do, make sure you get it on all of them, a little bit of panko. Yummy. What does that taste like? It's a little bit more crunchy than regular breadcrumbs. 
Yummy. Yes. All right. Now we got to put it in the microwave at... <laughs> We're not going to microwave it. We are going to put it in the oven That's at 420 I'm... degrees for 20 minutes. That's what I'm <laughs> Yeah. And we're going to right, taste test it. Yeah, then we're going to taste test it. All right, while the fish is cooking, I've got some onions caramelizing, and I'm going to add some garlic, some fresh-picked rosemary, and some garden-fresh tomatoes that the kids helped me pick the other day. And we're going to add all those together and make ourselves like a nice little tomato -y topping. I don't really have a name for it, but it's really, it's going to be really good. All right, guys, we just put this tomato topping on the lemon fish bake. It is looking fantastic. We're just going to send it back in there for just a second, and then we'll taste it and see how it is. All right, I think they're done. Yeah. And the lemon fish bake is done. Garden fresh tomatoes on there. Another batch of grunt nuggets getting ready to go on. Guys, if you're looking for a dipping sauce, I like buffalo for these. This doesn't get anything. It's obviously good how it is. And when you cook this, just expect this. You're always going to get that. Don't worry about that. The, the flavor is here. Yeah. It, the, the butter burnt, just, burns just burns a little bit. There's no way around it. The fish is not burned. This is what it's all about. Check that out. You can do this with pretty much any fish, too. We've done it with sheep's head, grouper, snapper, grunts, redfish. I mean, you name it. It's pretty good. All right. How do you guys like it? Go ahead and try it. Mmm. You like it? Which one did you try? That one, the lemon fish bake? And that's tasty? All right, good. What about you, Brooklyn? You like that? I'm going to try everything. All right, you let me know. How do you like it, babe? Mm, it's good. Very good. Thank you. You guys were a big help. Thank you so much. And thanks for helping catch it. Brooklyn, I think you caught a lot. You caught most of the grunts. The big ones. You did really good. Mackenzie, you did a really good job. Oh. We didn't cook the hogfish yet. That's for a different video. So yeah. Stay tuned for that one. Subscribe if you're not already. Girls, what do you like the best? Do you like catching the fish or eating the fish? Eating. Eat. <laughs> All right, guys. So what kind of video should we make next? Uh, a gigging video. You guys want to go gigging? And shark fishing. And shark fishing? That would be fun. What I want to do night fishing. Night fishing? Okay. Yeah. Comment well, below and let us know what you think we should do. Should we do a gigging video or a shark fishing video? Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. <laughs> All right. What's, what do we do at the end? Peace like out, fish scouts. Oh, peace, peace out, out, fish scouts. Peace scouts. <laughs>